Okay, hi everyone. Hope you guys are doing fine in this COVID-19 situation. Uh, one thing we all been doing is we are probably flying more simulator than the actual quad. And to do that, you need to connect your controller or your radio to the PC as a control input. And I ran into a problem while doing this, which is that if you look at the background here, uh, I use a QX7. And the QX7, you connect to the PC via the USB, and the USB connection is right here at the bottom. And that makes it quite uncomfortable to use because this side is facing you, uh, facing your body. And it's a bit unwieldy to have a uh, cable coming up from there. Okay. And one way you can work around this is to use your actual quad itself more specifically the flight controller as a control input for liftoff. Okay, so how do we do that? So how it works is uh, at the controller side, the radio side, you don't need to do anything at all except to go to the, uh, you know, uh, the configuration that you usually use to fly your quad. And in my case, uh, it's a profile for R9 system. So the, all the stick inputs is going to go through the R9 system to my quad and out through the flight controller to lift off. Okay, let's see how let's see how we do that. All right, first off, you need to connect the quad to your uh, PC, of course. Then you need the better flight configurator. Connect it and go to CLI. And let's just wait a sec. Okay. At the CLI, get USB, and you see there's one particular field called USB HID CDC. So this is what we want. What we're gonna do is set USB HID CDC to on. What this does is it turns your flight controller into a HID input to control. I mean to act as a uh, radio controller input for uh, liftoff, right? So we're going to save, it's going to reboot itself, okay, and let's go to CLI and let's make sure, get USB again, so you see, it's now turned on, right, you can uh, try to disconnect uh, the flight controller, uh, but usually I found out, what I found out is you don't actually need to do that, okay. So let's hop into game and let's see if it works. Alright, so once you're in, go to Options, Controls, and Controller. You'll need to set up the control uh, input as if it's any other uh, controller that you have. Okay. So one thing to note is, if you're doing this for the first time, uh, when you turn the USB uh, HID CDC on uh, and save at the, flight con at the beta flight uh, configurator side, you will get a pop-up in Windows saying uh, getting uh, installing STM32 virtual com port in FS mode uh, driver or something along the lines and that is normal just wait for it to complete before you jump into lift off all right so once we're in uh, you see it's uh, being properly rec recognized as a virtual com port okay and I've already set up mine so but in your case uh, go ahead and click calibrate and go through the normal calibration process so yeah, so mine is already properly set up. So yeah, uh, I'll just click on exit. And it should work uh, as uh, um, normally as any other controller. I'm not too sure regarding the delay, uh, I mean the latency of the delay, but uh, any delay that you, you get from here should be equivalent to what you're getting in real life when you're flying quad. So let's just hop in and try this out. OK, 
okay so all right everything seems to be working I'm not exactly the, the the best pilot out here, so okay. So yeah, I think you get my point. So everything works, and yeah. Okay. So once you are done with uh, playing uh, simulator, it is a good idea to. Um, put the flight controller back to the normal mode so that it doesn't affect anything. I personally never uh, encounter any issues but uh, better safe than sorry. So to do that, come back to the Betaflight Configurator, connect, uh, mine is already automatic, automatically connected. So we do a reverse of what we did in the beginning which is get USB. Okay, so. USB HID CDC is currently on. Okay, let's set USB HID CDC to off and save it. This should put um, your flight controller in, into the normal mode. And uh, just to confirm, get USB. And there you go. So I uh, hope this helps and happy flying.